Hey folks in the UK, uh, my name is James Milkey and I live in New York City, um, but in my past life I was the editor-in-chief of Electronic Gaming Monthly and 1up.com and after that I moved to Japan and worked at Q Entertainment and Q Games, both unrelated. Um, I was a producer at those companies working on games like Child of Eden, Luminous Electronic Symphony and um, some of the Pixel Junk titles. And in addition to that, I helped co-found an event, an indie event in Japan called Bit Summit. So in aid of special effect and game blast, I'm going to open this retro section uh, by showing you some of the stuff that I've accrued over my 17 years in the industry. I'm going to show you some of my favorite things and it's going to involve um, diving into a lot of cardboard boxes uh, as I've yet to unpack everything in this uh, apartment. So bear with me and let's take a look. In this box we've got mostly Sega Saturn games. Remember when this analog controller came out that was that was really cool. Uh, okay so here's a couple copies of Gun Hazard for Super Famicom. These are signed by Yoshitaka Amano. These are pretty cool. And there's another game called Rule of Rose, signed by Yoshiro Kimura. Um, he was responsible for games like Chulip and um, Little King's Story. This is a survival horror game. And uh, I don't know if this one ever came out in the UK, but this one is not very common in the States, so it's hard to find. This is a plaque for Space Invaders Extreme, signed by the original designer of Space Invaders which is neat. This is a limited edition uh, box of Okami for Nintendo DS. You can see it's meant to fit in that little case just like that. It's got a little stylus that looks just like a wolf tail. Here's a little chibi amateras. So this one was difficult to get because you could only order it off of uh, Capcom's e-site in Japan when the game came out. And here's a copy of Hack Rebirth. It's hard to see, but it's signed by uh, Hiroshi Matsuyama, the president of, of uh, CyberConnect, as well as some of his team. Here's a copy of Kingdom Hearts, signed by Tetsuya Nomura. I was actually one of the first journalists to ever see Kingdom Hearts, and um, especially in the West, I'm pretty sure I was the first one. And I really championed that game, so Nomura-san never forgot about that. And uh, He always hooked me up with interviews when he didn't feel like speaking to the media, he would still, he would still speak to me. Here's a copy of uh, DOA Hardcore, DOA 2 Hardcore, signed by Hiragaki when he was still at Team Ninja. Here's a copy of uh, Zero, also known as Fatal Frame, signed by the director and the producer. Tecmo had an event at a haunted house in California, in Monterey, and when we were there, I had brought these games along with me to get them signed by the director that was the key to getting anything signed was knowing when you were going to be meeting somebody and uh, bringing games along so that was part of my strategy see all over my house I've got things like shoe boxes filled with stuff like Dreamcast VMUs Neo Geo pocket color cartridges GBA cartridges and well, what's in this box you might ask and for that the answer is The original Steel Battalion controller. Look at this beauty. A little dusty, but uh, nothing I can't take care of. And this thing, which is uh, too big to actually put out right now, is the Gabranth helmet from Final Fantasy XII. 
Uh, it's actually big enough to put on a human head and it's very heavy and it costs way too much money. But uh, for some reason I've kept it all these years probably because it's awesome. So besides the uh, collection of gloomy bears I have on this shelf and Space Adventure Cobra figures and Iggy from Jojo's Bizarre Adventure and Ashley Wood figures uh, from his 3A line and it's hard to see up there but that's Lady from Space Adventure Cobra. He's a bigger lady. Here's a cool thing. Here's the Metal Gear Solid iDroid iPhone case. Uh, we can go through and take a look at this thing. There are two versions of this. There's one that you could only get at Tokyo Game Show, which is the one I do not have. That one is white. This is the, uh, the black one that looks like a walkie-talkie that you, uh, that you put your iPhone in. And uh, I have not used this yet, even though I have an iPhone that fits in here. I think eventually when the iPhone is, is uh, no longer fit for service and it's just an MP3 player, I'll use this then. So one of the best things in my collection is this um, copy of uh, Panzer Dragoon Saga. It's a Japanese version, so it's called Azel Panzer Dragoon RPG. And the story behind this one is that when... Um, when uh, Smilebit, when Sega's former development company Smilebit was in town to show us uh, Panzer Dragoon Orta for Xbox, um, I brought along this copy of Azel asking if any of the developers that were in attendance were part of the original development team. So Kalagoris, on the producer of Panzer Dragoon Orta, said that none of the guys on the team that were at the interview were part of uh, the original Teen Andromeda that made um, the first three Panzer Dragoon games, but that if I gave him the copy of the game to take with him back to Japan, he would have as many original members of Team Andromeda sign it as possible. So, of course, I said yes, I would happily let him take my copy of the game back to Japan with him. And it took a few months, but when this game came back, uh, I think you can imagine that I was completely blown away. You can see that all the members that were still around that were working on uh, various games at Sega but were part of Team Andromeda um, signed this with the same white paint pen in a radial fashion and that is just something that you know you this is the only one of its kind in the world so this is uh, got to be one of my top three favorite uh, items in my collection of all time. As you can see on my shelf here, I still got like tons of stuff and just there's no there's no rhyme or reason to any of this stuff. I've got Fantasy Star Zero for the Nintendo DS. Thank you very much, Aaron. Um, got Freedom Wars in both Japanese and American, North American flavors. Let's see what's this. What's this? See, this is something cool. There's always cool stuff lying around my apartment. So this is the CG portrait series of the Virtua Fighter franchise that came out for Sega Saturn. Now on the front, it just looks like, you know, it's like the, okay, this is the, uh, this is the Sarah Bryant edition. But you open it up, and boom, there is a signature by Yu Suzuki. He didn't want to actually draw on Sarah's face. He didn't want to be smirch her face with a signature, so he put it on the disc on the inside. In here is the, uh, oh shoot, I just dropped something that will never come back. Um, this is a drawing that was done for me and my now wife. Uh, this was made by Yoshitaka Amano, character designer um, for the original six Final Fantasy games and um, this is the original drawing that he did um, uh, that we had made into an engagement ring and he did this for me as a favor I asked him if he would design the engagement ring that I would give to my then girlfriend and now wife and he said he would be happy to he gave me three drawings to choose from and I picked the one that looked like it could actually be made on the planet Earth 
the other two designs that he created were actually so um, beautiful and bizarre that I don't think there was any way I could actually have gotten the ring made. And even finding somebody to create this into a, an actual ring was, was very challenging, but I got it done. Couple random things, a little GBA cartridge for, I don't even know what this game is called, but it's a really awesome shooter. Can't even focus on this thing, but it's it's it was a real find. R-Type DX. I got this at Tokyo Game Show. It's a case by the legendary Japanese bag maker Porter. This is a uh, special Monster Hunter edition that they made for PSP. Let's see. You can actually see the. Um, I, uh, I still have a copy of uh, Portable 2G in there. And then this is a special steelbook edition of The Last of Us signed by the entire development team at Naughty Dog. This is pretty amazing. Yeah, this is actually all original signatures. Silver, silver pen on a steel case makes for an amazing signed artifact. This is, these are some of my recent um, acquisitions, but Plants vs. Zombies, signed by the entire PopCap Vancouver team. South Park, The Stick of Truth, signed by the development team. And here's a, a new one, like a Punch-Out for Wii, signed by the development team as well. And this was gifted to me by a friend who works at Next Level Games, who developed this game, also based in Vancouver. So this thing here is something I've had since I was probably about, I don't know, 11 years old. It's called Adventure Vision, and apparently there were a very, very limited amount of these made. Um, it has like some, something, it has this, I don't even know how to describe it. I would Google it. It's got a spinny red LED kind of thing that displays the game graphics in a very, very blurry, eye-melting way, but um, it's not too dissimilar to the Virtual Boy, but uh, worse and this had all the buttons all the joysticks and clearly I used it quite a bit back in the day it only ever came with four games Defender, Super Cobra which is fun, Turtles and Space Force very 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 generic names but Defender and Super Cobra were awesome and apparently this thing goes for quite a bit of money on eBay um, so don't think I haven't thought about it Here's a copy of Dark Souls signed by Miyazaki-san, the director of the game and the director of Demon Souls, which I am suddenly in the mood to play. Played this game probably about three times through. And I actually have every game in the Dark Souls collection, US versions, Japanese versions, Demon Souls, Dark Souls, Artorias of the Abyss edition, um, when uh, Miyazaki-san actually came by Q Games when I was working there and he signed something like 20 plus games in my collection which is not bad considering um, up until that point he'd only made a couple games here's a copy of Parappa the Rapper signed by Masaya Matsura the uh, developer behind Parappa a bunch of things in here PSP games. Loco Roco, signed by the developer. And here's a unique artifact. Treasure Land, developed by Treasure, and signed by Treasure President and founder Masato Maigawa. This is a very, very uh, uncommon game, and uh, I think he was surprised when I pulled this one out. He told me that. Uh, Sega actually commissioned them to make this game, but they actually wanted to release Gunstar Heroes first. Uh, but he made a deal with Sega that if they promised to release Gunstar Heroes, that he would develop this game Treasure Land for them. And they did. Here's a copy of uh, Smash Brothers for GameCube, the Japanese one. Signed. Uh, and actually a little a little Kirby is drawn in there as well, if you can see that. Here's one of the crown jewels, the original gold Zelda cartridge for Ocarina of Time, signed by Shigeru Miyamoto. 
Now, one of the things I, um, I don't know if I have a regret, but um, these hard shell plastic cases came out around the time of the N64, specifically for N64 games. So I cut up the box so as to be able to preserve the golden cover because you know uh, with cardboard boxes and stuff they really wear down over time um, and yes I could have taken auxiliary measures but I preferred to cut up the box and have it fit into this plastic Nintendo 64 case and as you can see the Miyamoto signature uh, remains fully intact Copy of Gravity Days, signed by Kichiro Toyama, which I really love because it's he draws a little paw there. It's a nice pink uh, paint marker, which contrasts nicely with the beautiful artwork on the cover. Really gorgeous game. Shameless plug. Uh, this is a Luminous Electronic Symphony, signed by the entire development team, including myself, uh, just to be a part of the uh, gang and. Um, this is a game that I actually worked on and uh, if you've played it um, actually you know what the European version I don't think has this reversible cover um, you only have the external cover which is a shame because we had the uh, design firm build create this artwork for us they're based in the UK and uh, they are former members of um, the designers Republic so we had their expertise uh, influenced the, the design, the visual design of this game. Here's a copy of D2 signed by my friend Kenji Ino, the late Kenji Ino. And speaking of the old uh, Warp, one of Warp's original animators, Fumito Ueda, uh, signed this Shadow of the Colossus for me and pretty much every copy of Eco that I have, both HD remakes, UK versions, original Japanese versions, US versions, and uh, I actually have more things signed by Sakurai San than I thought, like both the uh, Smash Brothers and this copy of Medios and something else that I think I brought to an interview with him. Here's a copy of Nier. Some more stuff signed by some more stuff signed by Masaya Matsura. Vib Ripple, Parappa the Rapper 2. Uh, Moji Ribbon, copy of Katamari Damacy, signed by Yu Miyake, the composer of the music, and Keita Takahashi, the uh, famous director of this game, who drew these uh, little characters in the corner. Oh, one more thing on the shelf that I will pull down is this original drawing by Keiji Inafune uh, during an interview with him where he drew Mega Man for me and he was the original character designer of course of Mega Man and a famous ex-producer at Capcom and now of course the concept uh, Inafune-san drew a couple of these for us while I was still at 1UP and this remains enclosed in its bubble wrap on my shelf to this day where it has not suffered from dust or yellowing Oh, and uh, before I forget, I actually have a couple copies of this book. You can see here it's Final Fantasy, the artwork of Yoshitaka Amano. What's interesting is I've known Amano-san for quite a long time. And he signed this for me originally, but I thought I lost the book during a move he drew a Moogle there and so uh, later on when I met him he uh, gave me this copy of the book and he signed this for me he was like it's a shame that you lost the book so I'll give you another one but then I went and found the original which is also signed so now I actually have two copies of this and uh, you can see it says Yoshitaka Mano here. He was signed in 1999 when I met him at the Angel Orenson's Gallery in New York City. 
his drawing there. But he also did two drawings of his character Hero, which was being exhibited at the time. So these are original drawings. Keep them in there. And although I could go on for days, um, and I've had actually quite a few things signed by him, I'll close on this uh, illustration of Mario by Shigeru Miyamoto, uh, who actually drew this for my wife. So that's that. Thank you for joining me as I rummage through all the boxes in my house looking for uh, some fun stuff. And thanks for supporting Special Effect. And uh, special thanks for the guys at Game Blast for inviting me to um, show off some of my random collection. Uh, this is James Milkey signing off, and see you next time.